girl Kathima, aka Lady Cheese, and I'm excited to come on here and make a brand new video. Um, if you aren't able to tell, my voice is a little bit raspy, but um, that's probably due to the different seasons. I did officially move to ATL, so I'm really, really excited about that. I absolutely love ATL. Um, oh, so I'm officially a Georgia Peach now, by the way. <laughs> um, and then on top of that, I did get my braces off, so I love that as well. I am excited about that. And I wanted to officially celebrate having 1,000 subscribers on YouTube as of two weeks ago and 1,000 likes on my Facebook page, which of course is about daily hair care tips, etc. So thank you guys so much for the love and support and encouragement, and it really does keep me motivated to do what it is that I do. So um, thank you guys again. So this video will basically be about what it is that I do to my hair to keep it growing at such a fast pace. I have plenty of videos on style that you could do but this video will be about what I do so first of all I'm going to talk about my styles tech most of the times I wear a twist out um, on a day-to-day -day basis and I do that because my hair is in the shorter stage um, my hair is about medium length so it does not rub against my shirt or anything and I have no danger of breakage so I do the twist out a lot um, towards the end of the week when my twist out is getting a little bit old I typically wear a turban look so Today is an example of one of the turbans, and of course I have a video on how you tie one. And then in the front I'll have my hair out, which is, as you can see, um, the remnants of an old twist out. With the twist out, when I was living in California, which has a very dry climate, no humidity, I would sleep at night with the twisties in my hair that I, of course, twisted with aloe vera gel, and I'd sleep with a plastic bag on my head, and just turned out and secured with a satin scarf. In the morning, my hair would be really, really moisturized, and I would take it out and have a really, really shiny fro. But, being an ATL, I have found that it is a little bit different. Um, it's definitely very, very humid out here, and I found that I don't need to wear a shower cap. So when I go to sleep, I twist my hair with aloe vera gel, spray it with the leave-in moisturizer, and of course apply the sealant to my ends, and I just go to sleep with the satin scarf. When I wake up in the morning, my hair is moisturized, I wear my twist out. Another style that I typically do is what I call the rinse and go. I might be in a really, really big rush and I don't have time to wash my hair with the conditioner. So while I'm showering, I will let my hair get saturated wet and then I will spray the leave-in moisturizer on it and apply the sealant roughly. Once I get out of the shower, I pretty much just maybe bobby pin the bangs down or put on an um, a elastic band to have more of a puff and I'll walk out the door. Um, to keep it from being dripping wet, what I'll do is while I'm dressing, I'll wrap a towel around my head and let that soak up the excess water. So that's another style that I wear pretty often. So honestly, those are pretty much my styles. I don't really get fancy. A lot of the times when I do styles for you guys, including the updates, that's literally ideas for you. But I keep my regimen pretty simple. I don't like a lot of manipulation because, as you guys know, my goal is length. And a lot of times to get ridiculous length, you have to make a lot of sacrifices, and that includes style sacrifices. I probably have to say the most important thing that I do with my hair is I never let it get bone dry. Um, I think that's very important because once your hair is dry, it's very susceptible to breakage. And once you break it, it takes years to grow back. So before you let your hair get dry, spritz it with a little bit of warm water. Um, or spritz it with a little bit of your leave-in moisturizer. Do something, but never, ever, ever let your hair get completely dry. When I do comb my hair, I never comb it unless it's saturated wet, and typically I comb it when it has the conditioner in it. I use this comb, and of course I start from the ends, and I gradually make my way up to the roots. That's pretty much how I detangle my hair. Another thing that I do to keep my hair moisturized and, and make sure that it never gets completely bone dry. So when I'm in the house, I'll spritz my hair with a little bit of warm water and a little bit of the leave-in. And then I'll just wear a shower cap um, around the house. When I say turn the edges out, I mean just flip it inside out. And then you can secure it with a scarf or you can leave it like this. This way, the elastic isn't rubbing up against your edges and basically breaking those off. Fairy knots are basically knots that you get on the strand. They're very, very tiny, and you typically get them at the ends. And fairy, net, fairy knots happen when you do a lot of constant manipulation or when you leave your hair in an afro. But with my hair, I don't know what it is. I do get them. I do not get them that often. 
it might be how I do my hair. For example, with the front of my hair, I might take a little bit of the leave-in moisturizer spray, spray it, and then I will grab it from the front and pull it out. And then I just detangle from the bottom like that, and then I'll style my hair. Of course, I will stress that if you wear a twist out very often, no matter what length your hair is, the moisturizing process is very, very, very important because if your hair is dry and you're pulling on it, you're more likely to um, cause a knot than your hair just sliding apart. So I'll say that. I also wanted to say that as far as my edges, which are very thick and pretty much grown in, I'm very, very protective. I don't really wear braids. I don't really wear flat twists too much because I feel like that pulls on my edges and I just don't want to run the risk of them um, coming out. Um, I would say that to keep my edges moisturized, of course I'd spray a little bit of the leave-in, but not too much because I don't want it to drip down on my face and cause acne. Typically what I do to keep them moisturized is I use a little bit of the aloe vera gel and um, at night I might put a little bit on the hair, not the scalp. So that's how I keep my, my edges up. Personally, I trim my ends maybe once a year and that's pretty much pushing it. When I say trim, I mean anything more than this is considered a trim for me. Um, what I will do throughout the year, maybe three or four times throughout the year, is do a medium sized twist and then I will clip my ends. For myself, some of you may disagree, I clip my ends straight across because I want to expose the least amount of hair surface as possible. If you clip at an angle, you expose more of the hair and it's more likely to lead to um, split ends, whereas if you clip straight across, you only expose the bottom part. Other than that, um, that pretty much is my hair, reg hair regimen. In my moisturizing regimen video, I will talk about what exactly I do and what products I use for the moisture process. But as far as the type of styles that I wear, how often I clip my ends, um, other ways that I keep my hair pretty much damp so that it is moisturized, which leads into the other video, that's pretty much what I do. Um, I'm not one of those naturals who try a whole lot of different things because I already know what works for my hair. And I think it's really, really important that you guys take the time out to learn your hair um, and make sure that you're not using products that are counterproductive to your reaching your hair goals. Um, I keep it very simple. I don't really have a whole bunch of time to spend on just my hair. And honestly, once you see my moisturizing video, I do enough, okay? So I'm glad that you guys tuned in. As always, thank you again for the encouragement and support. And I, I have finally gotten my schedule, so I will definitely have time to get back to making brand new videos once a week. So I will see you guys next week. And again, please come on my Facebook page, which is... Lady Keys Natural Hair page and come on there and share your journey. And um, I'm on there daily. So I will see you guys on there and I will see you guys next week. Bye.